Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to Rain's episode 4 of Peace Star. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. So I hope this episode literally opens with Louise at the fucking hospital. Like how Angela had to be in the hospital and Carolyn Tuesday. I swear to God, if it if he is not in the damn hospital, bro, we gonna have problems. And Haru. What can I say about my bunny? <laughs> and legacy. My doggo. Besides my actual doggo who is laying down right now. So cute. I mean, damn, calm your ass down. <laughs> well, he got hurt, but the thing is, you don't know when, so I'm guessing they took him to the infirmary. Yes? No. I'm so freaking out about the fact that this dude played my favorite JoJo. And he played, played a couple other roles that I've seen after Diamond, but <laughs> I will always know him as JoJo and then the <laughs> the Yuri anime he did. <laughs> Not the Yuri, the Yali. <laughs> yes. That was the best time. <laughs> Only well, because you got hurt, silly. You collapsed. Don't be so hard on yourself. Can I say something real quick, Bill? Um, I don't know why, but like hearing him, it, it feels like he's trying to impersonate Louise, trying to be like him. And the thing is, he needs to truly just be himself. Otherwise, people are really going to know this. And I've seen that from plays. And even knew someone who did that in a play. Not me, but a friend. <laughs>
so you have to fill in and you have to fill it. Legacy. <laughs> You'll do fine. It'll be okay. Oh. Yeah, so it, it's more real, realistic and shit, you know? Sticky as hell. Well, mm -hmm. probably all that wrapping. Yeah, I just hope Bill does it good. I mean, I swear to God, if he fucks this up, like... Are we ever really going to see them go, like, out into town? I mean, we're on episode four, and I would like to see them outside of school, you know? Mm -hmm. You have to make yourself outshine Bill, in a way, even though he is kind of the main attraction, like I say. I mean, so, yeah. You know. He'll do good. Just no pressure. Don't, don't think of Louise. Think of yourself. Mm, not gonna be some pissed off women. No pressure. Mm. 
I did not like the way he was looking at him like that. Oh my god, leave. I don't think it's likable. I mean, you're likable too, even though sometimes I don't like you a pain in my ass. That's wrong. You smell them on him? Oh. No, it's just natural. It's what he does. He's a dog. Well, duh. Oh. True. Okay, Bill, don't fuck this up. From the pressure of having everyone look at you. All eyes on you. Hell, he might faint by the end of this. No, he's not. Mm, 
damn. Now you know when someone looking at their watch, they're like, hey, hurry the fuck up. I'm ready to go. Be like, hey, that wasn't supposed to. Okay. But still, you know, someone gonna be like, hey, um, was that supposed to happen? Hey, curtains, curtains, get the curtains. Oh my god. Somebody get the damn curtains! Yeah, you have urges just as much as anyone else. Seriously, nobody nobody wanna fucking stop these two? Okay. Why don't you collapse fuck first? Yeah, there's no way in hell you could be a lead, though. Just stay on the floor and just fall.
Uh. Good job. But what the fuck? Okay. Bill, see? I told you. I knew he wasn't going to be able to do it. I had that weird feeling in that vibe. But okay. Just the part where Legacy was punching the shit out of him and you see, like, Haru there and just the feels I couldn't, like, my god. That was too much. And then, you know, for the blood to go literally over where Louise was, I had a feeling that Louise was going to come on stage and he was going to do some ish. So thank god he did something. Because who knows what the hell would happen. But you can see the difference in between the way Louise acts and the way Bill acts during this play, how essentially when Bill was doing everything, people were sitting there and then, you know, once him and um, Legacy started fight, uh, fighting and stuff and then eventually when Louise came in, it was a standing ovation while when Bill was doing shit, everyone's over here looking at their phones, they watches, like, hey, it's time to go, like, wrap it the fuck up like this dude is not getting <laughs> like a poor excuse of trying to be someone who he's not and i mean he does remind me of so many other people who i have seen in plays i've been in plays myself when i was in middle school and elementary school and in high school where someone tries to be like usually when it's an understudy or something and they try to do the same thing the per uh, the original person did and they essentially don't really put themselves in it and how some people, you can see that um, people can feel that performance. And, like, sometimes when it's not really necessary good, people will, yeah, eventually be on their phones looking bored. And then some people eventually have left the theater because they didn't like the, the freaking performance. I'm just saying. But it, it is a little bit. Of, it's not even a little bit. It is Bill's fault. Number one, he shouldn't have had a rabbit's blood and like a little small vial or like a little tiny jar i mean for like ugh. it's just to me it feels like he just wanted to fuck up no matter what but having legacy like smell it and then it, i mean for a moment i was like what the fuck is going on and i was like i really about to have like a drug gang off of this episode i know they ain't gonna have like typical drug drugs but i was like i feel like the drug is going to be blood and essentially what was it in the end blood and that just tells you i mean yes bill is the type of person who wants to be almost like louise in a way to be like that head honcho but because of the fact is he was trying too hard and you could tell by his performance a lot especially where um both him and the zebra were first starting and then you have um the dancing cats i believe those are cats um dancing around and how he was like he was sweaty, and I was like, yeah, yeah, it's okay. It's just the pressure of you trying to live up to Louise. You have all these eyes on you, and everything that Louise said to you before you started <laughs> this performance of this play, it's a lot of pressure because you are, you're showing everyone how different you and Legacy, I mean, not Legacy, Louise are, but you're still going to be, in a way, comparing yourself to Louise's performance from last week's episode essentially going into this week's and that's why in the end he fucked up he was a fake and the fact is that you know Louise and Legacy just went on with it which is really good I have to applaud that because I was just like top notch yes but now I'm wondering what the hell is gonna happen next like I feel like this is really weird because Haru was not in this episode at all I mean she was in it in a really like flashback little montage but she didn't really have any, like, anything in this. And I hope that in next week's episode, in episode five, um, she essentially gets a little more speaking role because I do want to know more about her specifically. A specific, uh, the shit that happened last week. You know, with the fact is, like, yeah, she's sitting around here sleeping around with guys because, in my opinion, I feel like she's doing it either because she has some feelings and some issues, maybe some demons inside of her that she essentially doesn't want to talk about. And I feel like the only way that she can get control is through sex. 
she can feel um, herself being not like essentially dominant in a way, but just being in control instead of having when you're in a relationship where it's like they're all there always is that one dominant and the submissive person, usually somebody, so most people that I've known um, before the modern times, they usually used, <laughs> used to be the man instead of the woman but now essentially it's kind of really they take turns in a relationship depending um whether you are in the same sex marriage um or a relationship or uh opposite sex it really shouldn't matter because in the end you, you know you're gonna have control in something and some say in the matter so I, i'm just hoping that you know whatever happens next with her if it's gonna happen in this next episode kind of let it do justice i don't know i mean because I, I haven't read the manga i don't want to read the manga i kind of want to wait until the show is over so that i can get like my anime only niche out instead of being like oh i've read the manga i know everything and essentially being like well this is what they meant by this and da -da -da -da, and it's like that because i think that's when people are gonna be like oh well she's read it like don't give a fuck about her or anybody else who's currently read the manga but yes other than that, guys, that is my reaction to this episode 4 of Beastars. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys possibly maybe next Saturday if it comes out next Saturday. Or even Friday because I think this was out on Friday. I didn't even know if it did. <laughs> oh, no, probably next Friday. Um, let me go ahead and say I'm sorry to people who probably, when, I, when they heard the fuck up and don't give a fuck about, um manga readers i do care about you guys i really really do it's just essentially you know it, it's just like the shit that i get from my hero and i'm just using it as an example but until then i will see you guys all next time bye